fi our final speaker uh, today uh, is the very distinguished gentleman from the state of Maryland who knows a whole lot about the rule of law and human rights, Congressman Kwesi Mafume, whom we are very fortunate has returned to the Congress after uh, having served in many national positions, and we are so grateful for his life and for his presence here today. Madam Chair, thank you uh, for your overly gracious set of remarks. I uh, appreciate them, and I appreciate also the opportunity to join you and uh, the others in our discussion about uh, the Ukraine. We're all here, obviously, because of the situation in the Ukraine. And this comes at us from different ways. I initially got involved when I came back, Madam Chair, to the Congress because of a gentleman by the name of Roman Goy in my district. Uh, who has watched these situations with the Ukraine going back to 2014 and beyond and who felt sort of helpless. And so on behalf of Mr. Goy and Catonsville and all the others that I've heard from, I am particularly heartened to also hear, as we did earlier, uh, from the gentlewoman, Mrs. Sparts, who is the only native Ukrainian to serve here in the United States Congress. Her comments are compelling, and her witness is one that we should always keep in front of us as something to be reminded of. In 2014, the Russian government, following the same script, has decided, or did decide then, to have similar troop movements, similar weapons build up, and a similar effort to invade. And even though the talk then was that we were not invading, as they said, we know what happened. They invaded the Ukraine, they took and annexed Crimea. And so the fact that President Biden and others have stood up, we want to th also thank all of our European allies for banding together. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization was formed just to be able to prevent things such as this. People who say, well, why is this important? It's important because history can repeat itself. It's important because history often does repeat itself. And it's important because it's a lesson that we've learned and must never get away from. Terrorism anywhere is a threat to democracies everywhere. And I join you, and I'm happy in this bipartisan effort, Madam Chair, to lend my voice. Thank you very much, and I yield back. Thank you, Congressman Mahume, for your sterling remarks, as always. Uh, your presence here adds enormous value to what we are attempting to do, to stop war and to promote diplomacy and peace and to help protect a David against a Goliath. This is a very noble calling. Thank you for your time today.